hello 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 everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome finally to this major declutter video. This video is going to be pretty simple in terms of editing. It's mostly just going to be me sitting here and talking in depth about the pieces that I'm letting go of and it's quite simply because for me at least there's a lot of thoughts feelings and decision making that goes into uh, letting go of pieces and I also have a tendency to get pretty analytical so in order to persuade myself to finally sit down and do this video I had to tell myself that you know you could leave out a lot of the editing you usually do you know adding a lot of these like reference pictures I mean if I know myself I'll probably do a little bit of it anyway but I'm not gonna be as meticulous about it as usual but it also means that this video might be more fun for those of you who are a little bit familiar with my watch and the pieces that I usually go on and on about. So without further ado, I think we're just gonna get straight into it. And one of the pieces that I have decided to clutter, I actually made that decision in the beginning of this cold season and I've already let go of it and it is my brown coat from the curated. I have had four winter coats or I guess actually five including the puffer coat but I tend to not really include it because I only wear it when it's really cold. I don't really wear it for like, you know, my style. So outside of that, I have three coats from the curated, the navy one, the brown one, the charcoal one, and then I have my new navy pea coat from And Other Stars, which by the way is warmer than the, the curated coats. And for that reason, it's simpler to wear in a lot of weather and also it's new, so I've been really enjoying wearing that. And I am keeping my original coat, the gray one, but the navy one and the brown one, I'm selling both of them. And uh, the brown one has already sold Sold. The navy one is up for sale uh, as well. And both of those coats were bought because I liked the original coat that I had so much. But the original one was the boyfriend coat, uh, the boyfriend coat. And I wanted to get the classic coats uh, just to have something that's a little bit different. And I was really uh, happy with them for a long time. Each of them ended up at around like 60 and 50 times of wear each. So that means, of course, that I wore them that much because I was really happy uh, for the time that I had them. But then an entire warm season came and left. And after that, I didn't really want to wear the coats anymore. It sort of felt like uh, once the long term but newness factor had worn off, they weren't the most like perfect pieces to have like permanently within my wardrobe. And one of the things is that I think it's just like in my Scandi DNA, I do really prefer something that's slightly more oversized. Uh, the classic ones are, yeah, I can, it is just like a more classic shape it's not that oversized and then uh, you know I just added another navy coat or jacket that I just prefer over the one from the curated and then on top of that the brown one I am really into brown as a color but the brown that I really like to wear a lot is just slightly different from the one that the coat was uh, so I'm going to so long term I would really like to have another coat uh, in brown but it's just going to be different so I have again sold the brown one already and uh, I got 400 for it. I paid 500, let's just say in terms of dollars. I paid $500 for it at the time or Swiss francs and then I got 400 back and then because of the uh, platform I used to sell the coat with, I did need to pay like a pretty big fee of 50 francs. But let's just like ignore the fee for a, a moment and then say I got 400 back. Then that means that I have owned this coat for like a year and paid a hundred francs for it, which to some may seem high, but to me, you know, it's a pretty good cost for wear at the end of the day. And the coat gets to, it's almost like I've rented it, you know, like the coat gets to leave and have a good life with someone else. It really looks really good still. And that's really the good thing about buying something that has like an easy, both resale value, but it is also like easy to resell. Like this is something that's very easy to wear for someone else. You know, it also wasn't very difficult to sell it. Where in contrast, like for example, if you buy a certain coat from like H&M or Sarah, you know, it doesn't always have to, to be bad, but sometimes when you buy these like lower end coats, especially if there's polyester in them, you know, they will look weird at some point and usually quite fast or they will pill in weird ways. Like it's just something you can pick up on. I feel like it's also something that I can often see in like the street picture, uh, just, you know, watching what uh, other people are wearing. And for something like that, you know, that's already kind of expensive. You know, I would say anywhere between like 100 and 130 and like 200 uh, francs a dollars, depending on what you're getting. And then once either you lose interest in that coat or it has sort of like slowly become sort of like fussy and it just doesn't look good anymore 
you will have like a dissonance with it and you won't want to wear it anymore and at that point it's really hard to give it like a second life and i feel like that's true for everything but with coats it just feels a little bit more major so i'm letting go of those two coats and after that I will have the navy one, the pea coat, and then the uh, gray curated coat. And at this point, that's more than enough. And then uh, once the next cold season hit, I'll be looking for something I assume in brown, but you know, a lot can change in a month. So that was a lot to talk about already in terms of that. Then I am also letting go of quite a few other things. And it's sort of funny because I really feel like I've, curated i know that's the word i always use but my wardrobe quite well um and within that there are still either mistake purchases or there are purchases such as the one with the coat where it's like it's just it's done its journey within my wardrobe or even though it might fit in it doesn't necessarily mean i want to wear it and that if it is for example uh, true with something like this this is a buccal, uh, buccal jacket from uh h&m i really thought i wanted it so I bought it and I have worn it like twice. You know, I get the idea, it's very surreal and I feel like it still fits in with my style, but ultimately um, I just don't love it. I barely, you know, it's not true, I was gonna say I barely like it. It's not necessarily true, but I just think that with how my wardrobe is curated now, there's not a lot of room for items that I just like. You know, I thought I would have something like this to like alternate whenever I wanted something a little bit different or a little bit more preppy. But the thing is, those days never come. I have so many things that I love now that whatever is in my wardrobe that I just like, it, it's not gonna get anywhere. And I will have multiple pieces like that to show. So I am gonna sell them to give them a different life. For a lot of those pieces, it's actually been kind of hard in terms of like decision fatigue to get to the point of like, well, do I really need to declutter it? Can't it not just like be in my wardrobe and become part of like, you know, you know, what? why does it have to go? But I think like, <laughs> it's like an forever like ping pong back and forth. Um, so, you know, it's gonna be fun to see how I'll feel like in a year or two when this has happened, I'll be like, why did I get rid of that like Google jacket from H&M? All I can say is that right now, and for a while, because it has taken me a time, like I have, you know, sort of sat with those feelings for a while, it just doesn't make sense in the grand scheme of like my wardrobe to have something that isn't either completely useful or that, uh, or like has some utility or that I, I love. It doesn't make any sense. And on that note, I am also decluttering this silk shirt from Lily Silk. It is super beautiful. It is extremely high quality. This is something that has really sort of, I'm not sure I was like bothered me, but this decision has also been extremely difficult because I'm like, it's a really nice quality silk shirt. Like, why would you get rid of that? But at the end of the day, it just pollutes the rest of my wardrobe. It's something that has been like laying in storage somewhere, but I just feel like I'm still like at an age and like where I live and like what I, is going on in my life that I don't need to keep a lot of things in storage. And should the day come where I feel like I really need a navy nice silk shirt, I'll wear something else that day or I will rebuy something like that but like this idea of holding on to things that you're not really wearing because there's nothing wrong with it I can see how that could be right for some especially like uh, I mean this is just an example because you know I can only imagine but if you are someone who doesn't mind that first and foremost and if you for example live in a house that you own or if you also have a couple of generations older where you know that like your style will come around again or your taste will come around again then something like that might uh, be right for you, but I'm just gonna, like my gut is just telling me that these things aren't important. And even if I look back at the things that I have decluttered and sort of like regretted almost uh, from when I was a little bit younger, even if there is a slight sting of like regret, I'm like, oh, you know what, that top I could have kept it. At the end of the day, it's really not important. And there's always another top to buy. So that I am also getting rid of. And then I am also selling this Ralph Lauren polo dress. I think it's sort of similar to the one with the, you know, with the silk shirt. There's not much to add. I've had it for a couple of years now. I did wear it actually for the first time more than usually this last summer. I think I wore it like thrice or four times, which is really nice. It is a really nice dress, but at the end of the day, it's just, um, it's less my style than other things I could own and have. And for that reason, I am gonna sell it on, but as I'm talking about all of this, I think I've mentioned that in a couple of other videos as well. 
it's not like I'm now in a rush to like just like haul all of all of these things out of here. Like this is something that I'm putting up for sale, and then hopefully you know someone will think this is a steal and it will uh, do better with them. So it's not like I'm about to just like. Uh, take everything to the Salvation Army. Uh, I am going to, yeah, some things will probably take their time to sell and like leave and that's okay. By the way, really quickly, this looks so transparent uh, on here on the phone, but it looks completely opaque when I look in the mirror and also when I take like regular, like regular pictures. So just know that I don't know why it looks so transparent. Anyway, I was sort of like just stretching myself with my uh, chest area. So I thought I'd just <laughs> mention that really quickly. But something else that I am letting go of, and this feels really strange, but I did touch on it in my latest video, which I uh, didn't do particularly well, so some of you have probably not seen it, but it is this baby blue cashmere sweater from Mango. And basically I was sick in it uh, once in Copenhagen about a year and a half ago now almost. And I just uh, psychologically have not been able to like reconnect and feel good about this sweater again, which sounds really silly, but it's almost as if like my relationship to the sweater has changed. And one thing that feels kind of silly about it is that I would not be surprised if another day will come where I would like to have a baby blue cashmere sweater. But even if that's <laughs> so, this I'm putting up for sale for now because at the end of the day, it really is about how I feel about materials and they are just materials. So how I yeah, feel about them should be prioritized rather than um, not anything else, but most else. So yeah, then I am decluttering or selling mistake piece, something that you have never seen and I've never talked about in the wardrobe updates either until the last one because I bought something very similar that took over but I bought this like rep skirt in dark denim. I bought it last summer and it's a terrible fit but I bought it because I really wanted it anyway. You know I think most of us can relate to making that type of mistake so yeah I bought it even though it's way too short. It's a terrible fit. It's very 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 beautiful but I finally found something that's almost identical and I wear that all the time. So this one I can sort of peacefully finally let let go off. Then I am letting go of this uh, sort of off the shoulder ish top from Pieces. There's nothing wrong with it. I just have uh, multiple things that are similar and I don't know what it is. There's just something about this that doesn't look super good to me. And it's again one of those things where like, you know, it probably wouldn't uh, hurt me to just have it in storage somewhere, but that's just not really something that I'm looking or how I'm looking to, to live my life as it is right now. Like this idea of having things like in storage, living in these like not 100% permanent uh, apartments as a single woman and then like having to like always having like this thing in the back of your mind because uh, oh my god I'm rambling now. I don't need to carry all that with me. Again there's always another blouse, there's always another top and if it's not your favorite top you're probably not really gonna miss it and again if you ever are you can buy another top. Then I am also letting go of this. This I feel really silly about actually. Because I really, really love this type of top. This is from H&M. I also have it in black with white, uh, both as a top, but also as a dress. And this is just too warm, which sort of breaks my heart because I do really love it. But no matter how much I love it, I don't look healthy in this color. And so, so I never reach for it, no matter how much I love the idea. And it's a mistake I've made like four times now. And uh, you know, knowing myself, I'll probably make it again eventually, but yeah. And then I have a couple of things where it's sort of just like, you guys have never necessarily like seen it, seen it, or we haven't really talked about it because it's just been like in storage for a really long time. Like I have this white shirt where it's like, it's actually kind of nice. Like the shape is really nice where I'm like, you know, you never know whenever you need like an extra white, white shirt, but I've hold on onto it for like three, four years now. The day hasn't come and it's cut with a lot of polyester, which makes it look, it looks nice, but it's very uncomfortable. And yeah, I'm just, um, you know, should I ever need a white shirt? I will buy one that I will wear. Now we are actually entering something that I'm a little bit like in doubt about, which is interesting. This is also a sweetheart neckline top and this is baby blue. I haven't worn it that many times and it's not expensive. Again, it's really one of those things where it only comes down to whether or not I want to hold on to things and like keep them in storage because even though I love the idea of it, it actually also looks very cute. It's just almost as if like, it's just too, you know, there's something about my style. I I would say myself that is rather like clean-esque. I think it's also why general rule of thumb, I tend to like avoid many patterns and rips or like a rip fabric and stuff like that. Even though again, there are exceptions to that rule as well. And there's just something about this that just doesn't look 
clean at all. It looks very casual. It looks very cute. And it's just not really my vibe. But it's one of those things that like, I'm literally still like in doubt about this. Like, I don't know if it's a good idea to, to declutter it, but I don't wear it. And like, what would I wear it with? Like I can wear it with black, uh, black dress pants or something that I've done once. But again, like it doesn't have that sleek feel that I like, even though it's a nice piece, if that makes sense. So this is one of those things that actually, even though I'm saying I'm decluttering it, and I also kind of am, you know, mentally for me, um, it is actually more like in my maybe pile, but um, still wanted to talk about it. The point that I made still stands. Then I am also decluttering or selling this like Ralph Lauren shirt. Again, this is one of those things where I'm like, you know, oh, I could hold on to that. You know, that was, it's a nice shirt. You know, I really bought it thinking, oh, I'll always have this Ralph Lauren shirt. It's, it's such a timeless classic and it is, but I have other timeless classics and it's just a shirt. It's just materials. I never reach for it. So what's the point? So yeah, then I am getting rid of these oat pants from H&M. I bought these uh, because I was so tired of waiting around for oat pants. And I thought if I would just give myself something that actually looks kind of good, uh, I will wear them, but I haven't. I don't like them when I wear them. They just, they, they, there's just a, I don't feel good about them. They don't fit into my whole, like, I don't know what it is. I'm just, they do not excite me at all and I don't want to wear them ever so that's simple <laughs> then there are also some things that I have decluttered before but I've never really you know I haven't haven't let go of them fully because they were sort of like you know pricey or I want to get my money's worth out of them and then you like accidentally put them back in like the storage because you know no one bought them stuff like that and that is something like this it's actually such a nice it's like wool double-breasted blazer like shiny dark gray from Samsu, but it's just like a little bit too androgynous for my style. I don't quite like it. Then some dress pants I bought once, which are also black. I've never worn them. I have the other ones that I like uh, significantly more. And then I've also, yes, I've held on to them because I'm like, you know, oh, one day, but they don't look as good, as good as the others. And that day will just never come. And the same is true for like, I have these like culotte silk pants from Lily Silk, which is also like, how that's wonderful. So nice. And I used to wear a lot of culotte pants, but like, I've had them for a while, I don't wear them. They don't spark joy within my wardrobe. And then actually let's talk about this. This is like really embarrassing. I really wanted this skirt from Arkit. Uh, this was like two seasons ago. I mean, it, obviously it's super creased right now, but it's 100% wool and it's a size too large because they didn't have my size. You know, I was so adamant on getting it and we didn't have Arcade in Zurich at the time, so I made a friend go buy it for me in Copenhagen. Like I literally asked if she could go buy the skirt for me. And then she was like, it's only available left in like a large. And I was like, that, you know, just get it anyway. And then I'll like take it to a tailor or something like that. And like, I've never done that. It's warm, big mistake, huge. And it still has the tag on. It's a really nice skirt. I've put it up for sale a couple of times, but like no takers. <sighs> it is what it is. And here, this is my pink visco skirt. I actually did wear it a couple of times when I first bought it, but why did I buy that? Like, why did no one stop me? I mean, I get why no one would stop me because I was so excited when I got it, but at the end of the day, it just, um, it's just no, it just doesn't work. There, I have hot pink as part of my color scheme and I have things in hot pink that I like wearing, uh, but, but this skirt is just not, like a skirt is not it. And that's also one of those things, like, I wonder if in like eight years I'll be like, oh my God, why did I get rid of that pink skirt? But you know, if that day ever comes, then uh, I'll buy a new pink skirt. And then also uh, the way it's made up here, like the, or the waistband, it doesn't look quite straight uh, whenever I wear it, which also makes me want to not walk out the door with it whenever I do try to wear it. I think that's probably one of my like key takeaways, actually. Most of this doesn't like not fit. That's not the issue with these pieces, because I feel like that is a lesson that I don't have to learn that often, but if something doesn't fit, that's, that's, you are just not gonna wear it. Or I mean, I say you, but I think, I think I probably speak for, for a lot of us, but at least it's true for me. Then I have this like cool girl green blazer. This is actually really, really, really cool. It's just not my style. It's from Danish brand, uh, Henkum Hound. So it's like a designer piece. Uh, I bought it on sale. It had been really expensive had I not. And yeah, again, like really cool. I felt really cool when I bought it in Copenhagen, went back home to Zurich and realized that I had made a mistake. Then I have this oat uh, colored version of a top from Mango that I really still like. It's also like a mock neck, just as I'm wearing now. It's like sometimes they're a bit tighter around the neck than a turtleneck is, which I really like. And it's a t-shirt link, with is which is very rare 
rare that I have something in a t-shirt length that I like but with this I really do and I bought it in beige because I have it in black but it washes me out uh, it really has to be the exact right oat and then the exact the right type of article of clothing in oat in order for me to not feel like I look really sick in it and that is true for this so this I am also you know selling or you know, this is one of those things where like, you know, someone else will get the wear out of it that it needs, but it's probably not gonna be a big financial, you know, what would you say, profit for me. Then I am selling this. This is my secondhand scotch and soda blazer, which I have worn a lot of times. Don't remember exactly how many times now, I'll pop it up on the screen. But I actually really have enjoyed this and worn it quite a lot. I definitely think this is a testament to the fact that like I really like a navy and I also like the pinstripe. So it's definitely something I could see myself get in the future. Also the gold buttons didn't bother me. I thought they were kind of cute. Yeah, it's a good shape but at the end of the day it has the same thing as like what I talked about with the uh, blue sweetheart neckline top where there's something about it that gives it this like could, could you say like a slight like bohemian feel. I think that might not be the right way to put it either but it has a little bit of like it's a bit more like casual cozy fuzzy than it is like clean or sleek if that makes sense. So even though there are so many things that I like about it. Now that I have again more pieces within my wardrobe that I really like that are more in tune with my style, it's very very unlikely that a day will come where I would want to wear this over those. At least that has been true for almost two years now. Then I am also selling this, which I'm a little bit surprised by even myself, but I'm selling this shirt from Massimo Dutti. Or, yeah, that's not a good look actually. Now that I see it, I, it has like stains from um, uh, it must be sunscreen because I, it's it's still there. But basically, I am getting rid of this one way or the other, and it's a bit of a shame because I really really like. Okay, it shows up yellow as well on the screen there. Okay, I will say it really really doesn't in person. It looks white and blue. Like you can see clearly that it's a white and blue. But actually, the point I was going to make is that because the blue is so light and because the uh, stripes are. So so small it does sort of like wash out the shirt a little bit and it becomes this like very like pale almost like one mesh color when you look at it from afar and it actually doesn't become like a very fresh color so this the fact that like the crispness of that color is taken away it doesn't look very good on me and like whenever it almost have the same effect as like an oat color does on me like whenever i wear it i feel like i don't look quite well or it sort of like dulls my skin a little bit then i have this like wrap dress from good american if you've been here since the very beginning then you will know this dress and if you haven't then you won't because i haven't worn it for a really long time so that's why i'm parting with that it's really that simple and then this is painful this is a actually a um a jumpsuit that i bought in New York in like 2016. I actually did a semester there at the time and it's from Uniqlo. It was back, I remember like, I was gonna say I, but I think a lot of European countries at the very least, we were just experiencing uh, Uniqlo for the first time. So uh, I bought this jumpsuit and it was a really good fit. I don't think I can even fit it anymore. Like I was significantly smaller when I bought this. It was, yeah, in 2016. But I've held on to it all these years, like I did with other pieces for a long time that I have now decluttered, but because it's simply just like so hard to let go of it. It's a really good quality piece, which is so wild. Like it's such good quality. But at the end of the day, it does nothing but take up space within my wardrobe that is not like space that I enjoy to take up. It becomes this almost like nostalgic melancholian feeling to have it laying around and then you keep holding on to it it's just i've only had good experiences letting go of feel feelings like that and i have yet to have it happen that that was not the right decision to make so i am only making this decision because i am already confident in making decisions decluttering things that way like my point is had i not had those like yeah the, the experience i do the cluttering things i don't think i would have have the courage to get uh, rid of this but I do. Everything I just said about that jumpsuit can be said for this jumpsuit as well. I used to uh, wear a lot of jumpsuits and this is from Envy which if you recall like my wardrobe update from Copenhagen I told you about how my entire wardrobe used to be from Envy and then I hadn't shopped there for years and this jumpsuit was something that I wore like I've worn it so many times and I loved it like the two summers that it lasted and then I was wearing other things but this is also extremely hard to uh, get rid of it has just followed me around since like 2014 it's been almost 10 years 
And again, like the feelings that ult ultimately ends up being tied to it are feelings of like nostalgia, melancholia, and then like this slight hope that, you know, maybe I will like a day will come where I will use it. And the day hasn't come. And in all those years, it has taken up that tiny amount of space in my mind at all times, even if you don't notice it. At least that's how I experience it. So this time I'm also selling on, but it's really hard. But again, letting go is often hard, but it's almost never the wrong decision. And even if it is, you know, I think it's sometimes it's worth it to, yeah, do it anyway. You know, instead of holding on to everything, hoping that you wouldn't regret making one mistake, maybe it's better to just like make, or they have take the risk of making one mistake, which again, I haven't necessarily really done yet. Then I am also getting rid of this dress. Oh my God, I, many of you guys will have never seen this because again, like I've never worn it, but it is like a wrap dress. It has this like um, underdress to go with it. It's extremely cool. It's from Danish brand Samsung, and I bought it at the time because it was just like, like how often do you see a dress like this? And a wrap dress is, a, is like my best shape for a dress. So yeah, I bought it, it was really cool. And I think you get the gist now. Everything that I've just said for the, these pieces can also be said for this, but it's still really hard to let go of it. But again, like, yes, another piece will come by. The colors are really, really cool together, but ultimately it doesn't really look good on me. It's not really my style. Anytime where I could wear this dress, which would be extremely rare that I would ever consider it, there is something else within my wardrobe to wear, which is more aligned with my style. And at the end of the day, like, I majorly appreciate that style is consistent. Maybe I should get myself a nice new dress next summer that are like uh, that is like in line with my style. Or maybe I'll finally think about rebuying the the pink dress that was stolen a couple of summers ago now. Then a little bit more workout gear. Then this is also one of those tops. I actually remember buying this also from Danish brand Samsung, but in like Danish brand, uh, a Danish department store, magazine at like a sale. I think I bought it for like 125 Danish krones at the time, which is like less than $20. It's very nice, like I don't even know actually what fabric it is, but no matter the fabric, it is like a very um, nice expensive feeling fabric. And then it is like an off the shoulder top. It looked very, very good back then, like my body was just different and I don't just mean smaller. It was just like, I just had a different body. I think, you know, most of us who are like 30 or above can relate to that at that point. That's not a bad thing. It just means that how I like to dress my body now is just different. And those like looser tops, I, I can't remember the last time I wanted to wear something like that. Whenever I wear something loose on top, it's almost always a button up. And I do have other like off the shoulder things. And I would like to have actually a really nice off the shoulder top because it's, it's a look I really, really like. But this one where it's like only the elastic on top like is what makes it off the shoulder. And then the rest sort of like hangs. And then like, because I'm kind of busty, that will sort of like hold out. The rest of the top, no, it's not It's not a good look. So this is also one of those things that I've held on to for years thinking I might want to wear it again someday, but that day has never come. And actually when I decided to hold on, hold on to this, I was letting go of similar, not in terms of necessarily 100% style, but tops that I had similar feelings towards. And those are some of the tops from now where I'm like, why did I get rid of that? Like, you know, you wouldn't maybe have had to do that. But now knowing that I kept my favorite-ish of those, and like, at least this was the one I had the hardest time letting go of. And that has just slowly decayed within this like suitcase of decluttered items anyway then what's the point you know i probably wouldn't have there's no like the regret is just like in my mind like were they all here those tubs you know i probably wouldn't i would have the same feelings about them that i do this then i have these pink linen shorts which i mean you know i don't really like wearing shorts or i used to not really i do definitely prefer a skirt and then whenever i wear shirts i have denim skirts that uh, denim shorts that i wear and not that it has to be denim shorts but you know i've had these for like three years now or something like that i've never reached for them i think i've worn them like once and yes it's cute with a pink short but like why do i hold on to something that i ultimately don't really like so i'm also decluttering those then i think i've talked about decluttering this many times but i keep like bringing it back out it's a bit silly uh this is a top from reformation it's extremely beautiful it's extremely well made but i've only worn it like three or four times because the linen is kind of thick and just like i don't know if it has anything to do with my body type or like my bust or like i really don't know but the way i'm squeezed into this top it just doesn't feel comfortable in the summer which is when you would wear it and when i don't feel comfortable it just gives me this feeling that uh yeah, yeah it makes you not want to wear what it is that 
<laughs> you're wearing. Once I start sweating and once it's really warm, like nothing can make me wear something that I don't feel comfortable in. Then I am decluttering this very new red dress to the surprise of absolutely no one. It is beautiful. It fits me so well. And it's a testament to the fact that like I am ready for something red. I really am. But this dress uh, ain't it. It's too romantic. And then it has that same like almost bohemian quality. Again, probably the wrong word that I'm associating it with, but it's not sleek at all. It's rather like, yeah, casual. It doesn't have those qualities that I like about my style. So I am selling this, you know, I tried it out and uh, it's really nice quality. Uh, it's 100% linen. I paid almost nothing for it. It was on pretty significant sale. I'll probably sell it for the exact same amount and someone else will get joy out of it. Then I have this Bordeaux set from And Other Stories. And I'm actually kind of sad and uh, a little bit upset at myself that I'm letting go of these things. But it's one of those things where like I bought and I had such a vision for it. I just really wanted to, to love it. But there's just something about the way it moves, the way yeah, it moves with me when I move. But that doesn't feel quite right. And then also like the top is maybe not like the best fit for me. It's really this thing where like you have an idea in your mind of how something will work out for your wardrobe and it just turns out that that's not the case and because I still I mean now it's getting a lot better but still summer is definitely the season where I struggle the most with having a lot of pieces that I enjoy wearing and this was sort of like bought in that era so I was doing a lot of just I think at the end of the day like trying hard getting things within my wardrobe for summer that looked really chic and that I enjoyed wearing and that wasn't just like a white shirt with yeah whatever but it didn't work out I've worn it once or twice and it's one of those things where like I constantly feel like I have to like tuck at things and make sure that everything is, is uh, sits just right and when I have to do that I'm not comfortable and it makes me want to not reach for it then I am letting go of this skirt this is also something that I think most of you will not recognize I have like a pretty strong relationship to it because when I first started like redoing my style and I was really confused. I think it was my first summer in Zurich actually. I bought this skirt like on a whim on Zalando and it was complete like I didn't I knew nothing about my wardrobe. I hadn't assessed anything about what I liked. I hadn't figured out why I liked the things that I liked, like why some things would work and why they wouldn't. So it was just a really lucky purchase and it carried me through an entire summer and made me feel like I looked really good. So there are a lot of things, of course, that I like about the skirt, but at the end of the day, like I haven't worn it since. Now that I have other things that I like wearing more, you know, this just, it just never takes over. Like they're, I just never want to wear it. Those are the things that are almost like, I don't know if you guys can relate to that. It's one of the things that, that, that hurts or not hurts but it's very difficult to let go of something that you once truly cherish and then coming to the re uh, realization that the joy it used to spark it's just no longer the same but yeah that is true for this then sorry just had to go out to my gallery to uh, pick the last two things this yellow top from H&M which oh, it is so cute but like it's completely polyester I'm very tight fitted into it and ultimately even though it is so adorable I never wear it because it really just is not my style. I try to wear it with like you know a skirt or with jean shorts or jeans or something like that when it's slightly colder and it looks adorable each time and there is some sort of like fantasy version of myself you know it's like Libra energy a little bit of princess like the pale yellow and I've like gone back and forth so many times about whether or not I should sell this but like it doesn't compete with the things that I love and that are me you know like for example something like this black shirt I'm sure it's really boring to a lot of you it's just a black shirt but uh that's just I just this is how I feel me and I don't feel me in this I feel one version of me that doesn't really exist but then again, you know, you also want to come closer to like a version of you that is maybe in between this and something like this. And I mean, in theory, I have that. I have the rain top from Reformation, but I would like something that was a little bit more bubbly. Like I do, I like things that are slightly bubbly. I do like some ruffles, you know, I like the big sleeve, stuff like that. But <sighs> it's hard to let go of, but this ain't exactly what I would need. And then we are ending with perhaps the most emotional item of them all. This is a very thick suede moto jacket from Danish brand Mondiang's Companil. It is such good quality. It's the first thing I got for myself when I got like a real job out uh, of high school. Uh, it was like $500, which was a lot for then, especially 
and I have cherished it for many years, you know, um, I used to, maybe even still, so like Bordeaux has been one of my favorite colors of all time, but when I was younger, it was definitely uh, even more so, like everything I had was Bordeaux. So this was really like a corner piece for me, but first of all, it doesn't fit anymore, and I don't think it ever will, you know, I was significant, I was very slim at that time, one, but even if I you know ever got really slim again like that ship has sailed like my arms can't really be in it and i lift a lot of weights so i have actually considered getting something like a like a bordeaux leather jacket again like a bordeaux a trench coat or something like that it's one of those pieces where like i probably just need an updated version of this that i could also love but yeah there are a lot of feelings and emotion tied to this jacket but it's not the look anymore and <sighs> It's time to say goodbye. So anyway, that was actually everything that I am decluttering. There are also things that uh, I still have within my wardrobe that I don't necessarily 100% love that are still like for different reasons. I'm not going to declutter both because it's practical and then there are a couple of other things, but I thought it would be really interesting to also make a, a counterpart to this video and take only the things out from my wardrobe that I truly love. You know, all of the pieces that I talk about where I say, you know, I'm not gonna wear something that I like when I have this many things that I love. So yeah, anyway, this video is really, really long. I hope you had a cozy time watching it and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.